In this video, we will learn how to set up a simple environment for writing JavaScript. We will be using this environment for our JavaScript lessons. Here, we will cover four topics. First, using a text editor. Second, setting up a JavaScript file. Third, the console log function. And fourth, comments in JavaScript. So first, let's talk about using a text editor. While you can certainly write all of your code using any text editor, such as Notepad, you don't want to. You'll want to use a text editor that has features that make coding faster, easier, and more enjoyable. I recommend using Sublime Text, which you can download at sublimetext.com right here. So I would download this first or another text editor of your choosing before moving on in this tutorial. You can download it by clicking this button right here. Other popular text editors that you might want to consider are VS Code and Atom. Second, let's learn how to set up a JavaScript file. To do this, we're going to first open up Sublime Text, so I have it opened up right here. Next, we're going to create a folder for our project. Let's name it JavaScript Tutorials. So I'm going to go to my Finder, and I'm just going to create a new folder. You can do this in Windows also by just doing New Folder. Let's just name this JavaScript Tutorial. And then let's just drag it into Sublime Text, and you'll see that it shows up in the sidebar right here. Next, let's create a file called index.html, which we will be opening in our browser. You can do this by right-clicking this folder right here, and then clicking New File, and then let's name it index.html. So we will be opening this file in our browser. We will be using Google Chrome and the Google Chrome Dev Tools to see the things that we log. So you should download and use that as the browser you open your index.html file in. If you don't have Google Chrome, you can download it for free from this website right here. Just click on this button or uh, this button right here. So let's open up index.html in our browser by right clicking on it and then opening it with Google Chrome. So let's go back to our finder here. I'm going to click here. You'll see that it's in this folder now that we've created it. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do open with Google Chrome. If it's your default browser, you can just double click on the file and it'll open automatically. But just to be safe, let's just do that. So now you'll see it here. Obviously, there's nothing in the browser because we have nothing in our file. Next, let's open up the Chrome Dev Tools where we will be able to see the things that we log to the console. To do this, we can either press Command Alt J on Mac. On Windows, it'll be Control Shift J. On Mac, it's Command Alt J. So if I keep on pressing it, it'll open and close it like that. On Windows, you can do that same thing with Control Shift J. Or if you want to use the menu, you can click on this menu button here, go to More Tools, then Developer Tools, and then click Console right here. I think the shortcuts are easier, so I would recommend using those. Next, let's edit our index.html file in Sublime Text. We're going to just type the absolute minimum to reference a JavaScript file. So let's just type script src equals index.js. And then let's close this tag here. Don't worry about how this works if you don't understand HTML yet. We're focusing on JavaScript, not HTML. And now we need this file. So let's go back here. Let's create a new file. And let's name it index.js. So now we have our JavaScript file, which will run in the browser. If we actually reload this page, it'll actually run the file. But since there's nothing in the file right now, it won't do anything. So third, let's talk about the function console log. For now, all you need to know about this function for now is that the things that you put inside of the parentheses right here will get logged to the browser console as long as they're legitimate. So for example, let's write console log and let's just put hello in here. Notice that we have quotation marks here, which makes it a string, which we will explain more deeply in our next lesson. So now let's save it by pressing Command S, or on Windows it'll be Control S, or you can do File, Save. You shouldn't do this because it's slower. We've saved it. Now let's go back to our uh, browser. Let's refresh it, and you'll see that the word hello is in the browser console. So we have logged hello there. And finally, fourth, comments in JavaScript. To write a comment in JavaScript, simply start the line with two forward slashes like that. And then anything that comes after that, those slashes will be ignored when the JavaScript file is run. In our future lessons, we will use comments to help organize what we are learning. So now you know how to set up a basic environment for writing JavaScript. You can either play around now with logging some different things by replacing hello with other things, such as bye or whatever you want there, or you can go on to the next lesson. Thanks for watching.